everyone. Well, again, I'm so sorry that our original live broadcast cut out. It looks like we're having a little bit of Wi-Fi issue here in the park, but that is okay because it is craft time and we're gonna go through this. Now, like I said before in our previous video, I wanted to thank Mendo Parks for being such an incredible supporter of the Mendocino Parks. I wanna make sure that everyone is staying happy, healthy, and safe by washing our hands not touching our face, and staying six feet away from other people. If you're interested in more home learning programs, please follow PORTS, P-O-R-T-S, uh, and you will have access to all different kinds of lessons almost every weekday for almost every grade. They've been doing an incredible job of extending home learning options, bringing the California State Parks into your home. If you're looking for more information, please go on to P-O-R-T-S-C-A.U-S. Now, let's get back into the fun stuff. Let's get back into craft time where we can learn all about these incredible sea stars. Now you'll notice that I am calling these animals sea stars and not starfish. It's because sea stars are not fish. They're called echinoderms and urchins and sand dollars are all echinoderms. What makes them very special is that they have what's called a radial axis. That means that how humans kind of down the middle. We look almost the same on either side. Sea stars do that, but around a radius. Now, let's go ahead and get started on making your own sea star. We are gonna start off with two scoops of our water. Here, let me adjust this a little bit so you can see more about what I'm doing. Here we go. So I'm gonna go one, two. Our next step is to add one scoop of salt. We are gonna be making this salt water for a salt water animal. There we go. I have my one scoop of salt into my water. And now for our final ingredient, we are going to have four scoops of flour. Let's go ahead and count that out. We have one, two, three, and four. Now for the fun part. I want you to grab your mixing spoon and even though it looks like a tiny bit of water in there, it is really gonna go a long way. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up together. While we are mixing, let's talk a little bit more about these animals, these echinoderms. So sea stars have the ability to lose an entire leg, an entire ray, we like to call it, and actually grow it back. Sometimes they can even grow a whole new body out of a leg that they've lost from maybe a predator or if a rock falls on one of their legs, they still have that ability to regenerate. How amazing would that be if humans could do something like that? Here we go. Now, just to give you an idea, my dough doesn't really look too much like dough. It looks kind of flowery and not so pretty, but that's okay. That's on purpose. What I want you to do now is get your hands a little dirty. 
we're gonna go ahead and scoop out everything we have in there. There we go. Now you'll notice some flowers going everywhere. It's a little sticky, but that's okay. Once we get this all mixed up, I promise it will end up being a really nice looking dough that looks a little bit like that one. So keep working that flour, that salt, and that water together. Now, if you notice that the salt dough is a little too crumbly or maybe a little too sticky, you can adjust how much water or how much flour is going into your recipe. So here I'm collecting all this flour that fell out and I'm gonna work that back into the dough. There we go, good job. Good job everybody at home. Now I'm rolling this into a nice ball. Now my dough is still a little bit sticky. So I'm gonna add some flour. Work that all in. There we go. We are just about ready. If your dough is ready, what I want you to do is to go ahead and roll that into just a ball. Gonna roll it into a nice dough ball, just like this one. Perfect. Now we're ready to go on to our next step. Like I said, echinoderms have a radial axis. So we're not gonna create just two arms or rays. We are going to create five. I want you with your dough to create five little balls of dough about the same size. So here's one. While you're creating those five balls of dough, like I said before, because sea stars can go ahead and lose and regrow an arm, it's okay if these balls aren't all necessarily the same size. Maybe your sea star gotten a very heroic fight lost an arm and it's just recently begun to grow. So it's okay maybe if one of those arms is a little shorter than the others. There we go. Now I have my five pieces of dough. What we're gonna do next is sea stars don't have round arms. They like to have long reaching arms just like this one. Those long reaching arms are how they find their food and it's actually how they see. Sea stars have an eye spot at the end of each and every one of those rays. Here I put a little dot on this one so you can see. Now they don't see like we do. They actually mostly see the difference between light and dark. But Having those nice long arms helps those light spots go a little bit farther. So I want you to take the ball and create a tube like that. Go ahead and do that for all of these different pieces of dough. There we go. So we got one, two, three, when our hands get nice and dirty like this, we don't have to worry too much about wanting to touch our face. I think that's the best parts about arts and crafts is that we can do this at home, we can be creative, and we can learn a little bit more about the world around us. There we go. So I have my five ready. Now this part, I'm really gonna turn the camera down so you can see because now is when we really start to shape our sea star. Here we go. I am going to take one of my arms. I'll move this old flower out of the way. There we go. And I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Press that down a little bit. I'm gonna take my next one 
and put it on top. And you're going to keep doing this for all the rays of your sea star. You see how it's starting to come together? Our sea star looks a little clumpy right now, but that is okay. And now for the best part. You're going to push the middle down so all that clay sticks together. And take a moment to go ahead and shape those rays of your sea star. Now, this dough dries faster if it's a little bit thinner, so feel free to push down on it quite a bit. There we go. Mine is starting to look a little bit like an ochre star. After this program, I invite you to look at all the different kinds of sizes and shapes that sea stars can be. There we go. And now, our very final step that we want to do together is to take, I have a shish kebab mm -hmm. stick, but you could use a toothpick mm -hmm. or even the top of a pencil to go ahead and decorate your sea star. Echinoderms have nice spiky skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my sea star nice and spiky with some holes that I put all the way around it. There we go. Almost done. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. To remind myself that this is entirely around a radius because they are radial, they have radial symmetry, I'm gonna make some indents going all the way to the middle of my sea star. There we go. And finally, because we talked about how sea stars have their version of eyes at the end of their rays, I'm gonna make a little indent on the very end of all my little different sea star rays. That way I make sure that my sea star isn't gonna be wandering around the tide pools blind. And that is, well, just about it. The final part is gonna be left entirely up to you. And that is gonna be decoration of your very own sea star. You can wait until your sea star is dry clay, or you can actually still decorate it while it's wet. And all it takes is a little creativity and some of your favorite colors. Just to give you, just to show you my example from before, I created my sea star with my three favorite colors. Now that is mm -hmm. yellow, blue, and green. And I bet you'll never guess why I chose those three colors. This dough is gonna take about a day to dry. I recommend putting it outside in the sun. If you wanna mm -hmm. turn it into mm -hmm. a hanger, you can go ahead and hang it up by putting a hole through one of those rays that we had talked about. And that'll look a little bit like that. You can see that hole right at the top. So enjoy your sea star decorating and feel free to get creative with whatever dough you have left over. When you're all done with your craft, make sure to wash your hands and to wipe down whatever device that you were watching us on. Please feel free to like and follow this Facebook page. We're gonna be going live or with recorded video like we had to do today, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all with completely new lesson plans and crafts. We can't wait to see you. Again, my name is Kat. I am logged in from McCarricker State Park. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy.